Hi! Welcome to Holy Time TV. Before we start, smash that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. In the Bible, the number 40 frequently appears in the context of trials, testing, and periods of significant change. Some well-known instances include Noah's Ark. During the Great Flood, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Genesis chapter 7 verse 12. Moses on Mount Sinai. Moses spent 40 days and 40 nights on Mount Sinai, where he received the Ten Commandments. Exodus chapter 24 verse 18. Israelites in the Wilderness. After escaping from Egypt, the Israelites wandered in the desert for 40 years before entering the Promised Land. Numbers chapter 14 verse 33. Goliath's Challenge. Goliath taunted the Israelite army for 40 days before David defeated him. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 16. Elijah's Journey. Prophet Elijah traveled for 40 days and nights to Mount Horeb after receiving strength from an angel. 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 8. Jonah and Nineveh. God gave the city of Nineveh 40 days to repent after Jonah preached to them. Jonah chapter 3 verse 4. Jesus' Temptation. Jesus fasted and was tempted by Satan for 40 days in the wilderness. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. Jesus' post-resurrection appearances. Jesus appeared to his disciples over a period of 40 days after his resurrection. Acts chapter 1 verse 3. Once upon a time in the mystical realms of biblical history, a diverse cast of characters embarked on grand adventures, each marked by the symbolic number 40. Their tales, woven together, form an epic saga of hardships, testing, and triumph. Our story begins with a humble man named Noah, tasked with building a colossal ark. As the heavens opened, releasing torrential rain for 40 days and nights, the world flooded. But Noah, his family, and the animals aboard were saved, Genesis chapter 7 verse 12. As the waters receded, the stage was set for Moses, a man chosen by God to lead his people out of Egypt. Moses ascended Mount Sinai, where he spent 40 days and nights receiving divine wisdom in the form of the Ten Commandments, Exodus chapter 24 verse 18. But the Israelites, impatient for Moses's return, turned to worship a golden calf. As punishment, they were forced to wander the wilderness for 40 years before reaching the Promised Land, Numbers chapter 14 verse 33. Meanwhile, in the land of Israel, the towering warrior Goliath challenged the Israelite army. For 40 days, he taunted and terrorized them until a brave shepherd boy named David stepped forward, slaying the giant with a single stone. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 16. In a different time and place, the prophet Elijah, weary and despondent, was nourished by an angel. Strengthened, he embarked on a 40-day journey to Mount Horeb, where he encountered the Lord. 1 Kings chapter 19 verse 8. The city of Nineveh trembled as the prophet Jonah arrived, proclaiming their impending doom. God granted them a 40-day grace period, and the city repented, averting destruction. Jonah chapter 3 verse 4. Our journey then brings us to Jesus, who, following his baptism, retreated into the wilderness. There, he fasted for 40 days and nights, resisting the devil's temptations, Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. Finally, after his crucifixion and resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples over a 40-day period. He taught them and prepared them for the mission ahead before ascending to heaven, Acts chapter 1 verse 3. Throughout these tales, the number 40 symbolizes times of testing and trial, but it also serves as a reminder of God's faithfulness, providing strength and hope in the face of adversity. And so, our hero's stories echo through the ages, inspiring those who hear them to persevere, even in the most challenging times. Through the recurring use of the number 40 in the Bible, God conveys several important lessons to humanity. Patience and endurance. The number 40 often represents a period of testing, trial, or waiting. God teaches us the value of patience and endurance in the face of adversity, reminding us that challenges are often temporary and can lead to growth and transformation. Faith and trust in God. In many of the biblical stories involving the number 40, 
Characters are called to trust God during difficult times. Whether it's Noah waiting for the flood to recede or the Israelites wandering in the wilderness, faith in God's plan and purpose is a central theme. Repentance and renewal. In some instances, the number 40 signifies a period of repentance, reflection, and renewal. For example, the Ninevites were given 40 days to change their ways and avoid destruction. This lesson emphasizes the importance of introspection and the potential for transformation when we turn away from wrongdoing. Preparation and Growth The number 40 often signifies a period of preparation, as seen in Jesus' time in the wilderness before he began his ministry. Through these stories, God teaches us that we may need to undergo a process of growth and refinement before we are ready to take on new challenges or responsibilities. God's Faithfulness and Presence Throughout the various biblical stories involving the number 40, God remains present and faithful, even in the most trying times. This reinforces the message that no matter the difficulties we face, God is with us and will provide strength and guidance. In essence, the number 40 in the Bible serves as a powerful reminder of God's unwavering love, the importance of faith and perseverance, and the potential for growth and renewal in the face of adversity. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to gather, round, open your hearts and minds, as we delve into the divine lessons God has woven into the fabric of His Holy Word. Today, we're going to talk about the number 40, a number that carries profound significance in the Bible, a beacon of hope and wisdom in the face of adversity. You see, my friends, when we encounter the number 40 in the Bible, we're reminded of the value of patience and endurance. The Lord teaches us that even in the darkest of storms, we must hold on to our faith, knowing that He is with us, and the sun will shine again. In the midst of our trials, God calls us to trust Him wholeheartedly. Just as Noah waited for the floodwaters to recede and the Israelites wandered in the wilderness, we must believe in the goodness of His plan, even when we can't see the end of the road. Sometimes, the number 40 in the Bible signifies a period of repentance, reflection, and renewal. God is giving us a chance to turn away from our mistakes, to learn from our past, and embrace the transformation that comes from walking in His light. Oh! Beloved! Let us not forget the importance of preparation and growth. Jesus Himself spent 40 days in the wilderness, preparing for His ministry. We too must be willing to undergo periods of refinement, allowing God to shape us into the people He wants us to be, ready to fulfill our divine purpose. And above all, remember that God's faithfulness and presence never waver. In every story marked by the number 40, the Lord is there, guiding, protecting, and loving His children. So, when the going gets tough, and the road seems endless, let the number 40 serve as a reminder of God's unwavering love and His promise to see us through. So, I encourage you, dear friends, to embrace the lessons of the number 40 in your own lives. May you find strength in patience, trust in God's plan, and the power of transformation through faith. And always remember, no matter what you face, our Heavenly Father is by your side, every step of the way. God loves you. God bless you all. If you liked this video, don't forget hit that like button, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this in the future. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.